to this important program. Mr Chairman. I call uh, Dr Megan Woods. Thank you, Mr Chairman. Um, and it's my pleasure to follow the Minister on this um, and to respond to some of those things that the Minister said. That he said he wanted to look to the evidence, to look to the science, and, that, and that's what his government did. He said they paid great store in the experts. So I'd like to refer to the recent OECD report that came out on how New Zealand is doing in this area of the environment in the area of climate change. That it talk, the Minister talked about um, the government's ambitions around having renewable energy, laudable ambitions and ones that I support, but it is not enough on its own, Minister. And if I refer to the report that Simon Upton presented not long ago saying, Having largely decarbonised its power generation, New Zealand needs to ensure its climate policies are effective in curbing emissions in all sectors, notably transport and agriculture. It goes on, with respect to agriculture, which accounts for 49 per cent of emissions, the highest share in the OECD, the report suggests incorporating emissions from agriculture into the emissions trading scheme. So yes, Mr Chairman, we do have a comprehensive emissions trading scheme. Thank you, Honourable David Parker, the architect of that scheme. But is that scheme as comprehensive as it was meant to be? No. We have left 49 per cent of our emissions out of that scheme, Mr Chairman. And this is a government that refuses to even look at bringing it in, to look at the evidence, to listen to the science in ways that it could be done. The science community is giving that very clear measure. And what did Budget 2017 deliver in terms of climate policy? Well, Mr Speaker, there was a $4 million increase for the, one of the greatest challenges for humankind at the moment. This is a government that allocated an extra four million bucks to continue its work of low ambition and not even meeting those targets. Were there plans in there to have a climate commission that would put together carbon budgets and finally do something to put New Zealand on a pathway to have the net zero carbon economy that we require under the Paris Agreement? No, Mr Chairman, there was no such allocation in this budget. So when, when the uh, minister says that we can look at the country and what it's achieving, simply are not achieving. And then talked about the fact that this is a government that doesn't think that President Trump should have withdrawn from the Paris Agreement. Well, on this issue too, Mr Chairman, this government lacked the moral courage to show leadership on this issue. When they had the opportunity, when their leader, Bill English, had the opportunity to sit opposite the Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson, and tell him that that is what New Zealanders thought, he gave it away. He didn't even bring up the fact the US had just withdrawn from the Paris Agreement, despite it being only days after that had, action had been taken. Andrew Little took that opportunity, Mr Chairman. Andrew Little sat opposite the Secretary of State and told the Secretary what New Zealand's Labour's um, opinion of that kind of um, lack of leadership in the world felt like to us as New Zealanders and to us as a party. So for this, part, this government to claim any kind of leadership when it comes to climate change is simply a joke. It is a low ambition party with no plan of even how to reach those low ambition targets. There's an extra four million bucks in a budget for the greatest crisis facing our planet and this is a government that thinks they're doing enough. They've got a scheme in place that they say is the most comprehensive. Well, it should be. If it had been implemented in the way it was planned to be by David Parker, then actually it would be a tool in the fight against climate change if we included agriculture. But this government won't even consider that. There is strong evidence of how we could do that. What they say is that um, they're going to keep pumping money into science to, to, in agricultural emissions. This is good, but this simply will not solve 49% of our emissions, Mr Speaker. This is a budget that has failed in leadership on climate change, and it is gov a government that lacks 
the kind of fortitude that we need to face the challenges such as climate change of the 21st century, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the Honourable Maggie Barry. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I 